Myco designs, manufactures, and sells hydraulic components and systems for heavy-duty off-road vehicles and equipment. We have been providing our customers with quality hydraulic braking technology and services for over 50 years. Welcome to our series of Myco product training presentations. This presentation is meant to familiarize you with Myco boosted brake valves. The valves we will be addressing include two fluid power brake valves, open center hydraulic power brake valves, and air over hydraulic brake actuators. First of all, let's discuss what exactly a boosted brake system is. Boosted brake systems use a hydraulic air or vacuum assist to reduce the effort required for brake actuation. These systems will utilize an existing vehicle pressure source. The master cylinder is usually hydraulically or pneumatically assisted. Boosted brake systems can achieve higher brake line pressure using less pedal effort than a non-boosted system, making them more desirable in certain applications. A boosted hydraulic brake system uses relief valves to limit the maximum pressure allowed in all or part of the system. The main system relief valve is located after the pump and before any system components. This relief valve protects the system components from overpressurization. If the main system relief valve opens, fluid no longer flows through the booster and is diverted through the relief valve back to the tank as shown in Figure 1. The open center booster is completely dependent upon continuous flow through the booster to create pressure drop through the booster. We will discuss pressure drop in more detail when we look at the operation of two fluid valves. With the addition of a power beyond device such as a power steering valve, flow can potentially become blocked causing the main system relief valve to open. To ensure continuous flow through the booster, a power beyond relief valve must be placed between the outlet port of the booster and the inlet port of the power beyond device as shown in figure 2. An important point to keep in mind is that the power beyond relief valve must be set to open at a lower pressure than the main system relief valve. Myco two fluid power brake valves combine a booster section with a master cylinder section in a single unit. This type of brake valve is completely hydraulic and does not require an air or vacuum system to operate. These valves provide a natural pedal feel through hydraulic reaction. The term two fluid comes from the ability of the booster section to use one type of fluid and the master cylinder section another. A drain vent hole between the two sections helps to prevent the fluids from mixing. This feature enables the booster section to be powered by an existing mineral-based hydraulic oil circuit while maintaining use of a DOT brake fluid in the rest of the system. Models also exist with mineral-based hydraulic oil in both sections. The booster section of a Myco two-fluid power brake valve allows higher output pressure for a given pedal force than a master cylinder alone. The booster section of the two-fluid power brake valve is a mechanical device that is hydraulically operated to boost the efforts of the operator to brake the vehicle. The master cylinder section of the two fluid power brake valve operates the same as any ordinary master cylinder. While in the neutral or non-actuated condition, fluid from the vehicle's hydraulic system flows unrestricted through the booster section. Hydraulic fluid enters the pressure inlet port, flows across the lands of the input piston, through the boost piston flow ports, and exits the booster through the outlet port. The booster operates on the principle of restricting fluid flow past the lands of the input piston to create a higher pressure on the inlet side of the boost piston compared to the output side. This is referred to as pressure drop. The master cylinder section is not actuated at this time and remains in the static condition. Due to the flow and pressure drop characteristics of fluid in the booster section, the booster is designed to operate between 3 and 12 gallons per minute. As the operator applies the brake pedal, the booster input piston begins to move forward and compress the spring. The input piston lands begin to close, causing restricted fluid flow and a buildup of pressure on the inlet side of the boost piston. This pressure moves the boost piston forward, causing the output piston and the master cylinder piston to move forward and force fluid to the brakes. The area of the boost piston is much larger than the master cylinder piston. 
Therefore, the fluid pressure being forced to the brakes is much higher than the pressure in the boost chamber. Continued forward pedal movement increases the flow restriction at the input piston lands and causes the increasing pressure in the boost chamber to move the boost piston forward. This process continues until pressure in the boost chamber reaches the booster internal relief valve setting. The relief valve pressure setting is preset at the factory. Brake system pressure in the master cylinder reacts against the area of the reaction piston and is transmitted mechanically to the brake pedal. This reaction provides the operator with a modulated feel of brake system pressure. When the pedal force is removed from the input piston, the booster section and master cylinder section begin to release the brake system pressure and return to the neutral or non-actuated condition. A spring forces the input piston back, allowing the input piston lands and flow ports to open. Flow restriction is instantly removed and pressure in the booster chamber equalizes with pressure on the outlet side of the boost piston. Hydraulic system flow continues to enter the inlet port and exit through the outlet port as the master cylinder section returns to the non-actuated position. Two springs return the master cylinder piston, reaction piston, and boost piston to the non-actuated position in a smooth and rapid motion. Power off refers to a condition that occurs when the main system hydraulic pressure is lost. Although the boost section does not function in this mode, the MICO 2 fluid power brake valve is still capable of generating brake system pressure. As the brake pedal is applied, the input piston forces the output piston and master cylinder piston forward. While the master cylinder piston moves forward, fluid in the brake system becomes pressurized. The operator must overcome the brake system pressure as well as the internal spring tension. A power off application will require higher pedal force and additional pedal travel compared to a power on application. Power off applications are also not likely to achieve brake system pressure equal to the power on applications. The MICO D series open center hydraulic brake valve operates much like the MICO 2 fluid valve. However, it is considerably smaller in size. Consequently, it has a smaller fluid displacement. This valve is not considered to be a true two-fluid brake valve. These valves are designed for an open center hydraulic system that only develops flows of 0.7 to 4.0 gallons per minute. This low flow restricts the use of these valves to a dedicated system or a circuit using a flow divider where the valve has no downstream components. This type of valve does not have a drain vent hole between the master cylinder portion and the booster portion to eliminate intermixing of fluid types. Fluid in the master cylinder and fluid in the booster are separated by the piston cups. Separate fluid types can be used in either portion as long as they are compatible with each other and the valve seals. The valve seals are not compatible with DOT brake fluid. The MICO open center hydraulic power brake valve is a boost system designed to use mineral-based hydraulic oil from the vehicle's open or closed center hydraulic system and apply it to the brake components. Although these valves and two fluid valves perform similar functions, they are two distinct designs. The MICO open center valve is not capable of separating fluids and must use the same fluid as the vehicle's hydraulic system. It is also limited to one size of master cylinder bore diameter. This valve is available with flow capacities ranging from 3 to 24 gallons per minute and uses the main hydraulic reservoir for the separate fluid reservoir. Models are available with or without a residual check valve and come in either a standard or sliding piston design. In the neutral position, fluid enters at the pressure port P and flows relatively unrestricted through the valve and exits the flow through port FT. Residual pressure is maintained in the brake system by the residual check valve. When an operator applies the brake pedal, the regulating spool is forced forward, restricting the flow at the first land and closing the second land, causing pressure to build in the first cavity. And while the forward movement continues, the third land begins to open, allowing pressurized fluid to enter the second cavity as well as the boost chamber. The resulting pressure moves two pistons forward, forcing fluid to the brakes. As the pressure in the second cavity and booster chamber increases, the brake system pressure also increases. 
The pressure increase in the second cavity forces the regulating spool back. At some point, the hydraulic force acting upon the regulating spool will equal the input pedal force. When this occurs, the regulating spool controls and regulates pressure in the second cavity by either opening or closing at the lands. Orifices control the rate of pressure increase in the second cavity by metering flow, contributing to smooth operation of the valve. When the pedal is released, the spring in the second cavity returns the regulating spool to neutral. This closes the second land to the hydraulic system pressure and opens the first land. That allows the fluid in the second cavity and boost chamber to flow to the flow-through port. A spring in the master cylinder returns the two pistons to the neutral position. This valve will act as a manual brake master cylinder during a power-off application. The push rod link contacts the sleeve, which pushes directly on the piston, forcing fluid to the brake system. These valves require a long pedal stroke during a power-off application. The sliding piston design operates in the same manner as the standard design, except for an additional sliding piston feature. This specially designed piston slides inside the piston when the brake pedal is applied. If the piston strokes too far, the brake pedal will be pulled down with a short, abrupt stroke. This indicates to the operator that maintenance is required. Excessive stroke can be caused by brake components that are worn or out of adjustment, a leak in the brake system, or air in the brake system. A typical air over hydraulic system might include a MICO air over hydraulic actuator, service brakes, air foot valve, and reserve air tank. MICO air over hydraulic brake actuators combine a large surface area air chamber with a smaller diameter bore master cylinder. The air chamber uses a vehicle's existing compressed air supply to provide boosted hydraulic pressure to the brake components. This type of actuator is also referred to as an air over oil booster. The output pressure compared to input pressure from the air over hydraulic actuator is not a linear pressure. The rubber diaphragm in the air chamber begins to decrease in area as the diaphragm approaches the midpoint of actuation. This causes the air chamber output force to decrease. The resulting decrease reduces the input force to the master cylinder piston. This reduction, along with increased spring resistance, causes the master cylinder output pressure to decrease. MICO air over hydraulic actuators are available in either DOT brake fluid or mineral-based hydraulic oil models. They are also available with or without a residual check valve and can be used on vehicles as well as in many types of industrial applications such as construction, material handling, mining, forestry, and agriculture. The master cylinder portion of a MICO air over hydraulic actuator is available in various cylinder designs including straight bore, portless stem seal, stem seal remote, and tandem. The MICO air over hydraulic actuator converts low system air input pressure into high hydraulic output pressure. When an operator applies the brake pedal on the air valve, pressurized air is introduced into the air chamber portion of the actuator. The air chamber diaphragm and air chamber piston moves forward, actuating the master cylinder piston. Forward movement of the master cylinder piston forces hydraulic fluid into the brake system. The master cylinder portion of the air over hydraulic actuator works in exactly the same manner as any common master cylinder. The amount of pressure intensification is controlled by the area ratio of the air chamber diaphragm to the master cylinder piston increasing or decreasing the diameter of either the diaphragm or cylinder piston changes the ratio for hydraulic output and may change the maximum volume output. The MICO straight bore actuators are available in various sizes of air chamber areas and cylinder bore diameters. This model has an integral reservoir. MICO stem seal actuators like the straight bore actuators are available in various sizes of air chamber area and cylinder bore diameters. Models are available with or without an integral reservoir. This type of actuator eliminates cup cutting by allowing the cups to move freely in the master cylinder bore without passing over any ports. They are referred to as portless. It is also designed to provide direct piston alignment, eliminating cup wear caused by misalignment. These type of cylinders are particularly useful in applications that require small brake volumes. The air chamber on this type of actuator is designed with a built-in stroke indicator.
As you can see in the diagram, the stroke indicator pin extends out of the air chamber approximately one inch while in the static position. Dimension A will increase as the actuator is applied. The difference in dimension A from the static position to the applied position is directly related to the distance the master cylinder piston strokes and therefore the amount of fluid displaced. Stroke indicators are helpful when troubleshooting a brake system and can be used to determine the amount of wear or improper adjustment of the brake components. Here is an example of a MICO stem seal remote actuator. These models incorporate the same features found in the stem seal design but lack an integral reservoir. That means they need to be used with a remote reservoir. The MICO stem seal remote actuators are available in various sizes of air chamber areas and all models must be used with a remote reservoir. There is no cup cutting with this type of actuator because the cups never pass over any ports. Because of this feature, these actuators are able to release spring applied hydraulic release brakes without cup damage. The availability of an air supply sometimes suggests its use with fluid as the controlling medium. Combining the versatility of air operation with the control and high force of fluid can result in an ideal circuit. The outlet fluid line from a master or power cylinder can be connected to the reservoir port of a MICO stem seal remote air over hydraulic actuator to allow for brake actuation from a remote location. The wheel brake components can be activated by direct pedal application or by a remote air supply system. When the master cylinder on the vehicle is actuated, Fluid transfers into the air over hydraulic actuator through the reservoir port past the stem seal through the actuator outlet port and into the vehicle braking components. This flow of fluid is shown in figure one. When the remote air foot valve is applied, the air chamber on the air over hydraulic actuator is pressurized, pushing the air chamber piston forward. The stem seal closes, trapping fluid in the actuator bore. As the air chamber piston continues forward, fluid is forced out of the actuator outlet port and into the vehicle braking components. This process is shown in figure two. The circuit displayed here shows how a towed vehicle equipped with a MICO air over hydraulic actuator can be braked from the towing vehicle equipped with air actuated brakes. The tandem air over hydraulic actuator provides two independent master cylinders and a common housing. It provides braking in the event either the front or rear brakes become inoperative. Meeting the needs of our customers is the number one goal at MICO. If you need additional information, please contact us by internet, fax, or phone. MICO is ready to serve you.